Good morning ladies you are listening to reading friday acts chapter 1 yes we are just crushing the goal of finishing the new testament it's going so good so take your bible get ready with the book of acts let's go with reading friday this is elohim i me podcast Hey, it's Linda and welcome to Elohim I Me podcast. If you want to hear how God is with all of us all the time, then this is your podcast. It's going to be the longest journey showing you how Lord Jesus Christ can transform, motivate, guide, carry all of us. And hey, following his ways is freedom. Do you want to know how? Stay tuned with me for more. And this is me making my childhood dream of sharing the word of God with the world. And I hope it helps. And if you want to learn even more, hit the links in the description after the episode or just google it's lenslife.com. Now let's dive in. Good morning everyone. Good morning ladies. I hope you are ready with your bible for the reading Friday. So far we finished so many books. I don't know how many we have finished so far. <laughs> so far it's going so good. Last week we are reading the Matthews and you were you and me are supposed to finish Matthews book of Matthews and I did. I hope you did also. So today we are starting the new book that is Acts of the Apostles. So I decided to go with Acts of Acts of Apostles so we can keep going with the Acts of Apostles before going on further. Please take your uh, Bible and open your Bible to book of Acts chapter 1. And before jumping in, let me wish you a merry Christmas and uh, for each and every one of you well we don't celebrate christmas at all but um if you listener you, you one of person who celebrate merry christmas i wish you a happy christmas to you and your family and so but do not forget to read the bible and follow his path even during christmas and remember about salvation and why he is born and why he is dead everything so i hope you are going to have that uh, if, if, even if you listen i mean if this if you this now salvation i hope you are going to get salvation and at least learn about salvation during this christmas i hope you are going to make use of christmas uh, with family and also with lord jesus christ and with salvation so let's turn your book to apostles uh, acts book of acts chapter 1 acts chapter 1 the former treaties have i made out of lust of all that jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the holy ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of god and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which saith he ye have heard of me for john truly baptized with water but he shall be baptized with the holy ghost not many days hence when they therefore were come together they asked for him saying lord will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to israel and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the season which the father hath put in his own power but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth and when he had spoken these things while they beheld where he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in a white apparel which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up unto heaven the same jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as he have seen him go into heaven Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey 
And when they were come in, they went up into upper room where a where Adob, both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon, Salotis and Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about about an hundred and twenty men and brethren this scripture must needs have been fulfilled which the holy cause by the mouth of david spake before concerning judas which was guide to them that took jesus for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, in so much as that field is called in their proper tongue, a kaldama, this is to say, the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. Wherefore, of these men which have com compen com sorry, companied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John unto the same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us for his resurrection. And they appointed to Joseph called Barshabas, who was surnamed Justus and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, shew whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of his ministry and apostleship, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lords, and the Lord fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered when the eleven with the eleven apostles. What a chapter! What a responsibility. Well, I am going to read uh, one of the verse which was so much highlighting for me. Um, that is uh, chap verse 7. Okay, And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. What a verse. Right? Right, right now in this present, uh, this present pandemic situation, we are looking around like, is it time? Is it time? Is world is going to end? Is God is going to come? Is it time? Is it that? <laughs> come on, what a verse is that? This just this verse is enough for us to stop asking if this is the end time. Even if it's end time or not, we have to be ready. We should have salvation so we can go to heaven. So, I uh, you must. We um yeah we must continue with the book of apostles so we will be I will be seeing all of you on the next reading Friday with the uh, chapter which we were supposed to be if we continuously read so make sure to read uh, apostles chapter two tomorrow and go on further and I will be seeing all of you in the next Friday with the next chapter on reading Friday remember God is with you and me all the time this is allow him i me podcast joshua 1 9 be strong and courageous do not be frightened or dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go you might have doubts you might have troubles but the woman who fears the lord is to be praised this is elohim i me podcast Thank you.